But first, it's a story that has sparked a huge debate on our Facebook page, a pop-up truck stop in a Valley neighborhood. Well, we have received several more complaints Valley wide of more trucks parking in neighborhoods. And tonight, Contact 13 is exposing a much more serious and even deadly problem concerning truckers and where to park. When you ask, we investigate. Contact 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels explains the costly fix. Trucks, love them or hate them, they move 92% of all freight in the Silver State. And behind the wheel, the army of road warriors are facing a crisis. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where to park. <laughs> I really don't. We don't know where to park anymore. Nancy Amazola from Las Vegas based LAN Transport owns three big rigs along with her husband. It's a small operation with a big time parking problem. We're not bugging anyone. We're just parking there just for like a couple of days. Meanwhile, my husband recuperates and has some rest. Amazola says parking is hardly plentiful. In fact, she says she received a $60 violation recently for parking an idle rig in a residential area. Contact 13 found it's against local ordinances for commercial vehicles to park in zoned residential areas unless actively loading or unloading merchandise or other items. But advocates say truckers have few other options. Truck parking is a huge issue both in the state of Nevada and throughout the country. Paul Enos However, is CEO of the Nevada Trucking Association, the state's largest trade and advocate group for truckers. He says the parking problems have forced some trucks into neighborhoods, which has angered some. Every night and they have their motors running. I hear them. They party. They, it's, it's just terrible. It's a nuisance. The nuisance, advocates say, is really a multi-part problem with safety at the forefront. Truckers don't want to park in an unsafe place either. They don't want to park somewhere that's going to upset their neighbors, but a lot of times they don't have another choice. Truckers pull over to rest a federal minimum of 10 hours, and we've seen the consequences when they don't get enough sleep. July 18th, about an hour north of Las Vegas, authorities say a truck driver admitted to driving drowsy when he slammed into several cars, killing two men. Part of that safety is making sure that our truck drivers who are moving 80,000 pounds down the road are getting adequate rest. Eno says the Las Vegas Valley simply does not have enough commercial truck parking spaces at existing truck stops, in part because land is extremely expensive, coupled with other requirements like paved lots for air quality. That means tired truckers are forced to park wherever they can. It literally tells you when you have to stop. And if you don't stop, you will get a violation. Nancy says even if a trucker sought out a crowded truck stop and paid the fees to park, new electronic driver logs keep an exact tally of hours driven. Too many violations could mean federal trouble for truckers. I hope there is a fix coming. It is something that we are aware of. It is something that we are looking at. There is a study currently in place. The trucker study will take about a year to complete to find those potential solutions. Then it will likely take a public private partnership to enact those solutions. The Nevada Trucking Association estimates there needs to be at least three more truck stops along some of the valley freeways to alleviate the problem of trucks parking in neighborhoods and other areas. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News. We looked into this after a viewer reached out to us. As always, if you have a problem or concern you would like us to check out, just send us an email to 13investigates at ktnv.com and please include your name and phone number.